Good morning, Nick RishwayneExperts.com. I want to go ahead and give you just a, a quick update on a case that came down last week, was decided by the Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals. Uh, the case is Day versus Johns Hopkins Health Systems Corporation. I want to make sure that I got that right. We've had a few questions from members recently about expert witness liability for their testimony in court. And I want to give you what I found here. This information comes from uh, uh, what I read, the summary I read came from Pillsbury, Winthrop, Shaw, and Pittman, a large law firm, uh, international law firm. This came from their Gravel to Gavel blog. Excellent summary. Thank you for that. So the Fourth Circuit last week ruled that federal common law witness litigation privilege protects an expert witness for civil claims stemming from their testimony. So that's them getting sued for testimony that they provided in another case. In this case, the expert witness had testified under oath, had been cross-examined. Uh, it was a matter involving a, a coal miner who had claimed benefits under the Black Lung Benefits Act. And the expert witness concluded that he didn't, there was no black lung and claim uh, and the benefits were denied. Uh, according to the evidence that this expert reviewed, didn't see any evidence of, of black lung disease for this coal miner. Uh, thereafter, uh, Center for Public Integrity alleged that the Johns Hopkins Radiology Unit and its expert witnesses, doctors, radiologists, were much less likely to find evidence of black lung disease than other doctors. So, you know, they're claiming claiming that this is, they're somehow uh, ruling in favor of of the coal companies uh, or, or ruling against those seeking Black Lung Benefits Act benefits. So this Center for Public Integrity report led to this law, lawsuit against John Hopkins and their doctors claiming liability for fraud, tortious interference, uh, misrepresentation of more. The trial court dismissed the claim outright citing the common law privilege uh, of witness litigation privilege. Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals was divided on the issue, but they affirmed the trial court decision. They said that the expert witness has absolute immunity. Uh, they further went to state, and this is direct quote from the court, uh, when a witness takes the oath submitting his own testimony to cross-examination, common law does not allow his participation to be deterred or undermined by subsequent collateral actions for damages. So that's a really wordy way uh, for the court to say, you don't get to be sued afterwards. If you've been cross-examined, you, you've got this witness litigation privilege. They said it was an absolute immunity. So this does not apply. This is not legal advice. I'm not your lawyer, not even practicing. But what you should know is according to the Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals, they're saying there's an absolute immunity for expert witness testimony does not mean necessarily that it's gonna apply in the state courts and it does not mean that it might apply in the appellate court or the circuit that you're testifying in, but this is really good information for expert witnesses. I hope this has been helpful. Talk to you soon, bye-bye.